Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Our topic today is about those who breach Islam or trying to do it's called da'wah. Da'wah is like to be a Christian missionary. The difference is da'wah is a word used for Muslims. So supposedly da'wah means to invite you to join Islam. One of you, he left a comment for me and I think he is a brother from Indonesia. He said about the video I made yesterday uh, uh, saying that Mr. Quraysh uh, Shihab is a respectable man. We respect him to always spread peace between, with the Christians. And then he said the truth that, uh, you know, he don't tell the truth about the Christian in Iran. So, okay, so we have a person you think he is good and uh, he called for us a name. We made a video about his lies when he mentioned what the Prophet of Islam he did to the Christians of Najran. And he agreed that this is, was a lie. So how we can say we respect such a man? And who is the, who is the uh, let us say, the Muslim cleric who you can say he is a good person and there is a person who is a bad person? Let us take a look at all the names we see or the images we see in Google. Here we see a collection of images and I don't know which one of those can bring to you good memory, like he was a peaceful person teaching peace. Uh, I don't know who are those people, I never saw them before, and for me I don't care really who they are. What we care for is the truth. You see, let us say one in the right he pre preached peace, the other one in the left he preached uh, 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 violent. But the truth is ugly. The truth is that both of them are preaching the same thing. But one of them is trying to deceive us, hiding the truth. And he speak peaceful stuff about Islam. So let us go and see this guy, uh, Mr. Shuhaib. Mr. Shihab or Shuhaib or whatever you call him. Supposedly he is a person who don't teach violence. But don't you think this is more dangerous than the one who teach violence? And I will explain to you why. You see, the, the Muslim cleric, they play a game. Bad cop, good cop. Which means, marketing is about customers. And customers have different uh, uh, opinion and different taste. So if you are a person who like to uh, eat salty food, you don't, you, they would not send you someone saying, Oh, hey, listen, we have, we have sweet food. Uh, uh, like if you're a person you like salty food they will send you someone who you know offer you salty food if you are a person who likes sweet food they will send you someone who's you know offer you a sweet food so what is your taste and this is exactly the marketing of Islam it is devilish it is far away from the truth each one of them he present what his market need so if one of them, he, fought, he, he found himself doing better in the market of a suite, let us say, Islam is peaceful, Islam is wonderful, Islam, etc. So he can convert people to Islam. So it, not only that, those Muslims who don't like violence, because Muslims, they are like us, you know, we are a human. Many of them, they don't like violence. So a Muslim who likes violence, he will enjoy listening to a preacher speaking about violence in Islam. But what about the one who don't like violence? He will listen to Mr. Shahi because that will give him give him a comfort zone. Like, okay, Islam is not what they, you know, I, this is the Islam I like here. This guy is giving me, so I'm going to stay as a Muslim. So both of them, they are playing a dirty game. Both of them, they are not telling the whole image, the whole truth. They are not being truthful. And the purpose is, we will keep Muslim Muslims, in the same time, by having a preacher like Mr. Shihab, we can make many Christians accept Islam as a peaceful religion. In the same time, maybe we can convert some fool of them to accept Islam, and we tell them Islam, it's a word mean peace, when the fact the word Islam is the opposite from peace. Islam means surrender in the war, not peace. Peace in Arabic is salam. Islam is the same as opposite when you say known and unknown. So by adding and before known, it became unknown. So exactly Islam is. Islam is not Salam. Islam is to surrender, otherwise you will die. This is why Muhammad used to say, Aslim Taslam. So my friend, 
The gentleman who said to me that we respect this man, I respect no one. He is not a truthful. This is number one. If a person is lying to me, he is not to be respected. And I think this is fair, right? And if I'm lying to you too, don't respect me too. That is a rule you goes for everybody. Muhammad was a liar. And Muhammad, he lost respect from me personally, starting a very early age, because I found how much lies he have and how much ugly he is. Uh, and just to give you an example of Muslims lying to us and lying to themselves, just in order of marketing. Marketing Islam is a business, even the Quran says so. This is an article written by Muhammadan, and uh, uh, the writer of the uh, article, her name is Asma. Five rights Islam gave women before Western uh, feminism uh, did. Okay, what are they, those five rights? Okay, the right to vote. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> My friend, you're a prophet, he says, women are half brain. Your prophet says no women, no nation will be succeed, succeed if a woman lead them. Your prophet, he says that women, they have to be obedient in a way they have no voice, which means if they don't agree with us, we beat them. Chapter 4, verse number 34. So what vote? What vote? If the woman get beaten inside her house, she is so she is disrespected inside the house, she is respected outside. So... Here they we have people who they are giving us a sweet sugar to fool us. The right of women to own a property and wealth, that's absolutely false because this exists before Islam. Khadija herself, as Muslims they say to you, she was the most rich woman in Quraysh and this is before Islam. So Arab, they gave women the right to own. But in fact, in Islam, women, when, she, when Islam came, the women she inherited half, two women equal to one man in everything even in witnessing so a woman actually uh, if, if there's one million women they saw or a witness a crime their witnessing is not accepted because they are women even if they are one million the right of education that's a big fat lie i actually she said that the prophet said that you should teach your you know don't teach your your children the women uh, 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 how to write how to read instead of teaching teach them how to swing and how, how to recite the quran this is not education so they lie to us in the article the right to work what does that mean i mean is if if you if she cannot leave the house without a guardian how she can work i mean this is amazing lies and this is the sweet the right to to, to modesty will islam encourage something have nothing to do with modesty in the Quran, it says that force not your girls to do a prostitution. But if you force them, <laughs> Allah is all forgiven. So there is no penalty, not even one single penalty for prostitution in Islam. And in the top of that, what is the modesty if you can do muta, which is you go and you hire women to have sex with her for one night, two nights, three nights? Where is the modesty when Muhammad kidnapped women and raped them? Where is the modesty when Muhammad you know, he, he promised men, women who will be naked in heaven just for sex, which means Islam, Islam prom, promote nudity and sexuality and promote women as a sexual object. So all of those is absolutely false lie. And you are the person who is the target of this marketing to fool you. Uh, are they willing to read for us where Muhammad, he says, that the three things interrupt your prayer, a dog and the women and the donkey? Are you willing to read for us where Muhammad, he, he claimed that women are not only stupid, but they are filthy? Because the reason, by the way, they interrupt your prayer, because they are filthy, supposedly. So it's up to you to be either the fool who go by an article or a preacher who says something to you far away from the truth. So either you consider Mr. Shihab a person who is teaching peace, and then by doing that, you are teaching your children to take Islam from Mr. Shihab, which is a false Islam. While Muhammad, he says, I've been ordered to slaughter everybody until they convert to Islam, as you see in the screen. This is all is authentic, the same as the Muslim believe the Quran is authentic. So Muhammad, he said it clear, I'm going to kill everyone who don't accept Islam. 
So you bring me Mr. Shihab, and Shihab, he speak to your son, and your son, he says, oh, okay, Islam is a peaceful, and the, the Prophet was nice to the Christian, when the Prophet was torturing, killing, kidnapping, even he tortured people to just, he bring people, he kidnapped them, and he beat them to death, until they tell where is the money, they hide. Muhammad, he cut a woman two pieces when she's alive. Her name is Umm Qurfa, the story very well known. So when you say to me, I respect this man, he is a trying to spread peace, that is not peace. That is spreading lies and false, which is going to make your son accept Islam, a false version of Islam. This is the purpose of it. So a person like this, I believe he is less dangerous from someone who preach Islam is peace. Because this person is telling you something, he is being a little bit truthful. The other one is 100% false. And my friend, we are here to fight false. And this is why we are fighting Islam. So, if you think the one who speak about Islam is peace, he is the good person, I believe strongly you are mistaken. He is deceiving you, deceiving your children to give you a false image about Islam, so you might accept Islam. A person like this in the front of us, he is more truthful. He speak his mind about Islam, but I mean, at the end of the day, all of them, they lie. I mean... Who is there today from the Muslims is willing to say what Islam is about? Very few of them, and if they do, they will be wanted. So which one you think is better? The one who says to us that the Islam give women their right, or the one who read for us what the truth is, Muhammad saying, that women, they have half a brain, and most of them, they will go to hell. And this is why Muhammad, he ordered them to donate his money, their money for him, so they took, they took their earring and their bracelet, and this is the whole point of scaring them. And he claimed that women, they are dwellers of the hell because simply uh, they have a lack of intellect and lack of uh, intelligence, which means they are stupid, and because they have deficiency and deficiency in their wisdom and their religion. So when a woman, she asked Muhammad, as you see in the screen, what is our deficiency in our religion? Uh, he says, well, is it the Quran, the proof, the Quran says two women equal to one man? Huh? Is it the Quran says, etc.? So here you will notice two kind of Muslims, they preach this. A guy who go on the screen and he say, the Prophet, he gave women their right. Other one, he will say, well, the right of women in Islam is to be considered stupid with deficiency in their wisdom and not to be equal in the court. And not only that, they have deficiency in their religion, and they have deficiency in their brain. So they speak, one, one, one of them, he tried to promote the idea that Islam uh, brought rights to women, and the other one, he speak to Muslim to consider women always a stupid, uh, 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 sick, uh, uh, never, never listen to them. Actually, I can quote for you tons of hadith where Muhammad, he is humiliating women. Islam is a man-made religion made by the man for the man. This is why the heaven of Allah is just about women being sexual gift for the men. But the women, they have nothing there except they will be there. Even in the heaven, they will be there for the men. This is why Muhammad, he promised Muslim women, they will be 70 times more pretty. But for who? For their husbands. So even your beauty is not for you. It's to, to be enjoyed sexually by an idiot. So here we notice, either we take a person trying to fool us, or we take a person trying to tell the truth. Please share the video. Thank you for listening. And you decide who is the good preacher, who is the bad. For me, all of them, they are liars. And you make the decision. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again.